Well, we finally come to the segment on stroke, which is probably the number one question I get asked all the time is, what's the perfect stroke? Uh, there's a lot of controversy on that as well, but uh, I've discovered that stroke primarily is a simple definition of a free flighted motion of your cue stick. In order for the cue stick to free flight itself, you have to somehow release the cue stick from a dead stop at the backswing, or you're going to have some kind of an effective physics that works against you. So let's kind of illustrate that. I've got a special cue here I'm using to illustrate this point, then we'll apply it to a regular cue stick. This cue stick is uh, what used to be called the power cue, and I, and I usually uh, illustrate it to show uh, how to stop at your backswing and then to move forward into your shot. So we have a kind of a trigger button on this end of the stick, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach this uh, cue ball and this 11 ball on the table. I'm going to pull this cue stick back like this into the butt of the cue stick. I'm going to line up for the cue stick into the cue ball, and I'm just going to simply release the cue from the backswing by pushing the trigger. And when I do that, the cue stick releases automatically, and it travels a certain distance. Now, when you pull the cue stick back a little bit further like this, and it goes into the cue, and you pull like this, and you release it, it goes from a dead stop, goes into the ball. So in other words, you can go to a slow speed. You can go to a fast speed. On each one, there's a certain follow-through applied to the shot. So let's do that one more time to make sure you've got that. You come back with your stick. The cue stick is at a dead stop on the backswing, and then you simply squeeze the trigger and release it with a free flat of release. So it's pretty accurate. Most of the time when you get that accuracy, it's because of the result of not having any interference going into the forward swing. Now I want to take and illustrate how to use the regular cue stick with the same effect. When you take your regular cue and you go through your pre-shot routine, and you line up for your shot, you have perfect alignment, then you can apply the stroke to that and you get shot success. There's actually a formula I use to that effect, and it is the straight stroke combined with straight alignment gives you the success of the shot. So when you step in like this, and we're going to show the power cue, but with your regular cue, we're going to actually bring the cue stick back very slow because a train coming back slow is easier to stop than a train going back fast. Then when it's at a dead stop, we simply release the cue stick through the cue ball. So I'm going to do that a couple times for you to make sure you've got that. So again, we're going to chalk up on the shot, step into the shot, come back real slow, and simply release the cue from a dead stop. Now, I want to illustrate how to practice that because a lot of players struggle with the, uh, the hesitation on the backswing. We're going to have a later segment that shows corrective training for that. But I just want to illustrate the speed factor with follow through in your stroke. We just take and line up a series of balls on the table. They can be anywhere you want them. We take and we use this without a cue ball. We take the, come down with your stick, come back to the object ball, come back real slow, and first release slow speed. Just release your cue slow speed. Go to your next shot, line up straight for your shot, come back slow speed, release medium speed. Then come back for your shot, come back slow speed, and release fast speed, like you would do eventually to a break shot. And we'll illustrate it from this side as well. Coming back again with a slow speed, release slow. Coming back with a slow speed, release medium. So in other words, you continue to do this repetition. So as you learn to develop this technique, remember you're lining up for your shot with your pre-shot routine, good solid foundation like we covered before, good bridge, you've visualized everything perfectly, then all, you, all that's left to do then is to bring your cue stick back, hesitate, release the cue stick at different speeds. And if you put 15 balls on the table, you can release slow, medium, fast, slow, medium, fast, slow, medium, fast. You're programming three primary speeds of the game with this slow backswing, hesitation, and free flat release. And if you do that, your game's going to go to an entirely another level. So enjoy this segment, practice it well, and I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.